What's up everybody? One hour and ten minutes. So I'm about to show you something. Yeah, here's the deal. When you know things are right, okay? Welcome to the closet laboratory, by the way. So I'm gonna let that cool down for just one second, but let me turn the fans off. So here's when you know you're doing things right. So I've been recently using, recently using, I've been trying to do a one shot here, Fusion 360. So yes, Google SketchUp my whole life, switched to Fusion 360. Life has changed. So let me show you something. All right, here is my helmet currently. So I've been designing and 3D printing things such as this GoPro mount, pretty sweet. And I've also got a ginormous battery backup back here, also 3D printed. And my microphone is on the side and there's some tape holding it on, like barely holding it on. It's actually, it's like terrible. And this is the mic. Now, however, I wanted to make a new microphone jack. So here's what I did. I made this. Let's get it off. Look at that. All right. So let me get you like the closest shot I can. All right. And give you some. Oh, it's just focusing on my face. Get out of here. All right. So there's a slight curvature right there. And here is the part with a little support in there. All right, there's a little overhang there. So there's the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this support out. It's stuck in there a little bit because of the way I got it designed. All right, support is out. That's it. All right, so this video is basically about kind of when you know when you got things dialed in. It's a little piece right there. Let's see if I can get that out. Hmm. Not liking me. Take my knife and we'll just pop it out of there. There we go. A little bit on the edge right here. Okay, so here's the deal. This is the piece. Question is, does it fit? Now this is several things. One, experience with 3D printing. Two, knowing the tolerances of what you need. Three, understanding how 3D printing works, works like adding this um, support in the right place. All right, and then also knowing how to tune the printer and understand how this is gonna function when it's all said and done. So this is PLA, all right. No, I didn't fart. I usually do, but that's actually the floor. So as you can see right here, let's see if you can see, you see that little lip right on this edge? There's also one right on the back here. Okay, right along this edge. And then there's also a little bit of an indention uh, here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I measured these up. Now here's my tolerances. I use 0.15 of a millimeter as my basic tolerance and it it's almost perfect every time unless you have something funky with your printer, like too much extrusion or something. So the first thing I want to do is just see if this fits. It's supposed to fit tight and it it's pretty tight, like perfect in my opinion. And then on this side, this is supposed to sort of snap in this side. So yeah, snaps in there pretty good. So. The goal is, is that I'm going to be able to put this right on the side, snap this in here, and I'm going to put adhesive tape on there. So here we go. Let's see. Let's just see how well, let's see if I can get this, see how well this fits. So I'm just going to push it in there. I can't see what I'm doing. Did I break it? No, I did not break it. And let's see how well it is. Oh, look at that. No movement, fraction of a movement this way, but, well, actually, not really. It's pretty good. So, there you go. You know, you know you're doing something right when pieces fit together this well. And I'm talking about tolerance that need to be just right. Let's see what it looks like there. Maybe I can flip it. You can see it even better. So you can see how it holds it in there with that little lip right there. 
Now this is the first iteration, not changed anything. This is exactly the way it's going to be. And then this is going to replace this bracket. This is going to be on the side here. Easy. So let me jump over onto Fusion 360 and show you how I actually made this part. All right, so if you can see that right there, I took this part one little piece at a time. I drew the base up, just measured it with the calipers, added the tiny bit of extra space needed for the uh, tight fit. And then voila, a few moments later with extrusions and some fillets and a few things. I had to invert the whole part after realizing I should have flipped it. And it's pretty easy. I highly recommend check out Fusion 360 and any other of these CAD drawing programs because you don't have to spend $10,000 on these programs. A lot of them are now free. And this is an Autodesk um, product, so it's basically top of the line and it's free. Uh, so just, you know, get in there, get your hands dirty, give it a little experience, and I think you'll really enjoy using this type of software in CAD software. Oops. All right. So, as you can tell, it was pretty darn simple. It didn't take me a whole lot of time. I'm learning Fusion 360, so I definitely probably did some things screwy and uh, unconventional, but it's pretty, pretty sweet. So I highly recommend you try Fusion 360. It's free for startups and anybody on a... Uh, uh, like me, just a hobbyist. It's completely free. Um, there is a couple other options. Uh, you guys can leave them down in the comments. I know you know more than I do. Uh, one of them is Onshape. I've never used it, but it's an online service. So if you have like a ebook, which some people do, they can't use Fusion 360. They can use Onshape, which is pretty cool. So designing your own things and being able to print them and have them in your hand within a few hours is just... This is why I 3D print stuff. So, yeah, peace and love, God bless, have a good day, and I'll see you later. By the way, here's a little sneak peek on some of the things I've been trying to print. And yeah, I do not always have success. This is a very complicated piece. You'll see more of this real soon. In the meantime, 3D printing, have some fun. Peace out, bye.